Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what it looks like when you start moving up from the smaller bars, typically the one ounce bars, to something with a little more weight to it. So the first step obviously is going to be something in the five ounce range. Uh, that typically is going to look something like this. So this is the Silvertown five ounce bar. It's got some nice weight to it. Again, five ounces is, uh, it's still an appreciable amount. I mean, if you don't have the money to be uh, working your way up to the big bars right away, um, it still makes you feel like you're accumulating. So, I mean, if you're buying one of these each check you get or things like that, you're going to accumu accumulate some weight uh, over time. Um, so it's definitely helpful. Um, but if you're doing a little bit better and you have the money that you can spare, something like the 10 ounce is going to be, again, a great, uh, a great investment. This one's the Sunshine Mint 10 ounce. Um, these ones, I uh, have quite a few of these because uh, this is pretty good a price, um, not too much on premium, uh, especially depending on how you pay. Uh, but it allows you to start stacking up uh, weight that you can actually appreciate uh, over time. Again, if your buying strategy is kind of just uh, dollar cost averaging, buying every paycheck or every month or whatever it is, um, you know, there's so many different theories on how much you should have as a base to your stack. Um, some people say 500, some people say 1,000 ounces. Um, again, obviously, it's really going to come down to your personal financial situation, um, what you feel comfortable uh, having, um, and honestly, what you can store. Because even though it does, may not look like much, it starts to add up where, um, you know, storage does become an issue. Obviously, you want it to be safe, you want it to be secure, um, and especially after you put your money into it, you don't want it to... Uh, be susceptible to theft or anything like that. Um, so, uh, again, the progression uh, from what everyone, again, starts with, which is, you know, something like these, which is the one gram bars, um, to something like the silver, or the five ounce bars. Again, this one's the Silvertown version. Um, it gives you a pathway to just, you know, start getting more and more comfortable with the heavier weights. Um, now, at some point, you're, you may move up even higher, and that's when you look at something like this, which is the Sunshine Mint Kilo Bar. Um, something like this, this is nice. Uh, it's nice to start getting into. Again, it is, uh, it is an appreciable weight. Uh, it does take up space. Um, and they're not the cheapest. I mean, it is silver, so again, relative to gold, it's still uh, a lot cheaper but um you know depending on your budget may not be the most affordable thing so uh it's something to consider when you're moving up um again these ones are pretty nice and there's a big spread between these bigger kilo bars um i would say just in price alone um, not even including payment or tax uh, there's about a 50 60 dollar spread easy depending on which bars you like Again, Sunshine typically with JM Boolean tends to have a nice, um, a nice price where it's not prohibitive, um, but again, it's not cheap. So it just depends on your needs. Um, but once you start to stack things like this, uh, some people talk about the downsides of having hundred gram bar. I'm sorry, hundred ounce bars, and the liquidity of those. If you know you needed to liquidate, and who's going to take it? Are they going to have that kind of money on hand? Um, again, that's all going to be personal preference. I think, honestly, if you're just stacking for weight, it's really not going to matter because if you're stacking for weight, you ideally are not going to put yourself in a position where you would need to liquidate at a moment's notice. So that's going to be the key, giving yourself the flexibility to, um, you know, be able to liquidate at, on your terms. Um, but that's the whole point of having these other options the 10 ounce bars, the five ounce bars, and even the smaller one ounce bars. I mean, you could even go fractional on this, but realistically, like, I don't personally think that's too necessary because, <clears throat> um, I mean, real money, fiat currency is still going to be there. So you're still going to be able to buy stuff with your $20 bill and your $100 bill. So I, I wouldn't worry about that. 
It's just a matter of what you're going to be able to get for that. So this kind of thing is just your insurance policy of what am I going to, what am I going to protect my value with? And things like this tend to help you do that. So again, I just wanted to give a few ideas on what stepping up your stack to the next level bar looks like um, so that people can have an idea. Again, the kilo bar, they're actually really pretty. Sorry, that's not the best uh, view of it. But it is, uh, they are pretty nice. So if you're stepping up to something like that, um, it's a, a good stepping stone to even bigger bars if that's your preference. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks.